Hello, ha. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from BuddhaFarming.com. In this video today, we're going to talk about the law of attraction and ask, and ye shall receive. Ask, and it is given. Let's get started. The law of attraction, to simplify this in the most basic term, like attracts like. Meaning, if you're positive, give out good energy, high vibes, you attract the same to you. Walk the path with heart, and you find and experience a life living from the heart. Now, the law of attraction, asking it is given, the universe needs to know, be guided, what it is that you do want. If you never ask, most times you don't receive. Now you need a vision, a dream, a passion. What is your passion? What gets you out of bed every day? What is your vision for the future? Without a vision, the people perish. Now this is a very simple fact of life, of the universe, of the world. Walking the path with heart, being congruent where the internal mirror the external and the external mirror the internal. If you treat people good, they treat you good in return. Treat people bad, you attract the same. Now that doesn't mean that every person on your path is going to fall in love with you or treat you well. Whenever there is conflict externally, that means there's something internal that needs to be healed, to be cleansed, purged, released. Don't judge yourself. Be kind to yourself. We all experience these things along the way. No one's high vibe all the time. That's an illusion. But we do our best to each day to bring our joy to the world, our bliss. Now with all things, there must be an exchange of energy. You can't just ask for things. You can. But generally, the universe gives when there's an exchange. And the exchange might just be goodwill, giving compassion to others, uplifting other people's spirit, empowering other people. Now, it's best to remove expectations and practice appreciation. Appreciation, gratitude, this multiplies, expands, multiplies your what you will be grateful for. We remove the expectations. That's part of our problem. We expect everyone to treat us right. We expect. This doesn't, this is, in other words, neutrality, divine neutrality, viewing things from a neutral perspective. Energy in itself is neutral. You could do great things, such as money. You can do great things with money, or you could do horrendous things. It is what is in your heart, it's what you do, what you put out into the universe, returns, reflects back to you. So for instance, whatever your vision, your dream, part of our vision, my family's vision, to have a permaculture farm, organic farm, sustainable communities. For instance, if you want to support us in our dream and our vision, we have a GoFundMe, BuddhaFarming.com, if you'd like to give to our vision, our vision of teaching organic farming, homesteading, sustainability how to transform environments in a positive way and heal the earth, heal the land, and live off the land and create communities. Or we also have a Patreon, whitegoldeagle.com, if you'd like to make a monthly pledge. See, it's that simple. Ask. If you don't ask, generally you don't receive. And the exchange of energy is, what do I give? I give teachings, lessons, I teach healing arts, spiritual arts, metaphysical. And this channel, I'll be teaching many things from permaculture, homesteading. We're in the process of procuring land. This is what we're raising funds for. That's the purpose of this channel, and then to teach, to educate the world on sustainability, alternative energy, many different things, healing arts, Videos like this, the law of attraction, 
ask and ye shall receive. It doesn't mean ask for a million different things. Focus your intent. Go within. Ask the universe, God, Source, Creator, Buddha, the Tao, whatever name you give to Source, the Creator. When we say in the Hindu arts, Namaste, that means the God within me, the love within me, the bliss within me, experiences, witnesses, the God within you, the love, the truth, the bliss. And that's the empowerment, that's the power within, the power of this now moment, the presence that is always with thee. This we call pure awareness, or Buddha consciousness, Christ consciousness. We say, different finger concept pointing to the moon, the moon of enlightenment. That's a Zen Buddhist philosophy teaching. We don't get caught up in these ideologies and debate concepts, for we are the truth and essence, which is beyond words. So we're using words to point to the truth. People stare at the finger and mistake that concept as truth itself. Where this might be true, that may be false. We live in a world of paradox. So we must be very clear to the universe what is it that we want and hold that vision. What do you see for the new earth? We teach about the new earth that out of what we're experiencing with this chaos and conflict and duality, what will rise up out of this is heaven on earth, the new earth. This is in the Bible. This is in every ancient spiritual tradition. I don't care if it's Hindu, Buddhist, Christianity. goes by many different names. The new age, the new earth, the rapture, ascension, many different things. So as we travel through this unprecedented time, of this great shift. This is the shift of the ages when we come into the new golden age for abundance, prosperity. So this is part of my teaching, how to manifest heaven on earth, living from your heart, being connected to all things in all realms, all timelines and dimensions. And this is the fundamental of manifesting that which is what you desire in your heart. And you must have pure good intent, especially in these times, have good will, divine will, and be in service to humanity and to the earth and to our sisters and brothers of the light. So part of the power of manifestation is being consistent, consistent with your vision, visions, what it is that you dream. being consistent in your efforts. We say gong fu, gong, like qi gong, qi, either C-H-I or Q-I, mean energy in Chinese. Qi gong, gong means work or effort. So we say energy work. You know, this is martial arts, healing arts. Everything in Chinese medicine manifests through energy. Everything is energy. Everything is vibration, frequency, resonance. This is quantum physics also. The teaching of the quantum reality, this holographic universe that we live in. We're here in beautiful Washington with this beautiful moss. Let's zoom around here. Look at the beautiful nature, beautiful trees, the moss, green everywhere. It's the heart of Gaia. It's the new earth, the beauty of nature. The Tao is the way, it's the truth. For I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that's the genius within the Creator, being conscious co-creators of this dream world. Let the plane fly overhead. So we hold the intent, we hold the vision, our dream, and be consistent in our work, our effort, our practice such as putting out videos, teachings, your vision, being consistent with that. You can go back 10 years and you see my vision hasn't changed in the grand scheme of things. There's refinements, we perfect things, change a little in time, but we hold the vision and live from the heart, transmitting our joy and bliss to all that we come in contact with to the best of our ability. 
No one's 100% all the time, but we do our best. Because day by day, in every way, I am getting better and better. And a powerful mantra is, I am worth it. Because the matrix programs us to think that we don't deserve it, we're not worth it, we're not good enough. Whatever lies and nonsense and delusion, illusion. Because we are one with Source. I and my mother, father, God are one. One and the same, there is no separation, only in the simulation. So keep practicing day by day, in every way you get better, no matter what the art is. I don't care if it's meditation, if it's painting, if it's creating videos like this. You can see it's not perfect, I'm speaking from my heart. This is basically unedited. We edit a little, but we ad lib as we go along and let we don't take ourselves too seriously life's short this this realm this time here we say inch time foot gem in zen buddhism each moment is worth a priceless gem but i can go on and on the basic concept is the law of attraction ask and ye shall receive this is in the bible this is in every spiritual tradition there's a great book by the geniuses leo russell and walter russell called god will work with you but not for you the god source which is the creative principle the healing energy source energy is at our disposal if we live from the heart and we focus our intent our intention in this now moment and hold that vision for all these monkey mind thoughts that constantly go through our head day by day the universe doesn't know exactly what you want until you hold the vision, you hold the line, you hold the truth, and you're consistent in your vision. So if you'd like to support us in our work and help us continue bringing videos like this and our teachings and practices and watch us evolve in time as we use any proceeds we get for, obviously, our living expenses, but to fulfill our dream of our farm, our Buddha farm of permaculture sustainability and we'll document this whole process so go to buddhafarming.com and donate whatever you can because the thing is brothers and sisters of the light there's a lot of people in this world with a lot of money and all it takes is you putting the effort out and someone some people maybe a team will see your vision they'll be attracted to your voice to your soul to your spirit and say, I'm going to invest in this, this person. They're going to see your potential. Because within every living being is infinite potential. We just need to tap into that genius within the genie. It's in our genetics. It's in our DNA. And that's our creative potential, the God source energy. We say the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. That is your still center, the zero point of infinite potential, infinite density, infinite light. We say, Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu. I take refuge in the Buddha, Amida, Amitabha, of infinite light and infinite light. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to check out the links in the description. And we ask that you support us either through BuddhaFarming.com with a donation or a monthly pledge at whitegoldeagle.com and we look forward to serving you and bringing more videos like this and many many teachings over the coming days months and years have a most beautiful and blessed day namaste mahalo